A full day of tennis to recap for you here on the Horizon League quarterfinals on both the men's and women's side. The day at the Schwartz Tennis Center in West Lafayette started with men's quarterfinal action. A pair of matches. We'll start with UIC and Northern Kentucky. These two teams faced each other earlier in the year in UIC, won by a score of 5-2. to two. On the doubles side of the ledger, the doubles point would be won by UIC. They would claim victories at both one doubles and at three doubles as well. The Norse got the two doubles, but again, the full point went to the flames of UIC. So on to the singles action we would go to. And again, that was primarily the domain of UIC. Uh, it was a, a very well contested match, close matches, but again, much as they did during the course of the regular season, the flames simply got the better of it. As you could see, windy conditions today here in West Lafayette. But again, just too much for the flames, especially as they kind of lower down the charge spots. Three, four, five, and six is really where kind of the business end of this was done today. Here you see the number five player for UIC. It would be him that would get the winning point for UIC today that would wrap up the match for the Flames and send them on to the men's semifinals. Now, the other match that we would focus on would be Green Bay and IUPUI. Green Bay would win the doubles point. They would win it one and two singles, meaning IUPUI had to win it three, four, five, and six. They did it at four, five, and six. The last match was the three singles match, and it was freshman Colton Moorhart that got the job done. About to be dog pile time for the IUPUI Jaguars. From three none down, they win four three. They advance onto the semifinals. Now, in the women's action, first of all, it was Wright State, the five seed, that upended Milwaukee by a score of four to two. We'll focus now on Detroit Mercy and Oakland. When these two teams played a couple of weeks ago, Oakland won six to one. Today had a completely different feel to it. Detroit Mercy won the doubles point. Oakland would then win six singles. Then Detroit Mercy would win at two and three. So Oakland had to win at five, one, and four, and all of those matches ended up going three sets. And in two of those matches, at one and five, Oakland was down a set and would find a way to come back and get the victory. Ava Thielman got her 17th win of the season for Oakland. And in fact, on the last point, there was an overrule, which is what gave her the victory. So that put all the emphasis at four singles. Zenya Provido Kona for, for, for the Provido for Detroit Mercy against Alexandra Wall for Oakland. When those two played just a couple of weeks ago, it went three sets. So today it would do exactly the same. There you see the last point, 6-3 in set number three. And for Oakland, it's their first Horizon League women's tennis tournament win. So our women's semifinals for tomorrow, Cleveland State versus Oakland, Wright State versus IUPUI. On the men's side of the ledger, UIC and Youngstown State, IUPUI and Cleveland State, again, scheduled for 11 and three, but that could change dependent on the weather, which is why you go to horizonleague.com for more information. That'll do it for day number one. Thank you so much for joining us for the Horizon League quarterfinals here on ESPN+.